everyone, this is Erin Gates from Lizzie Knits and Three Birds Yarn Studio. And today I'd like to show you how to um, place a lifeline and tell you what lifelines are used for. Um, so for a lifeline, you will need your project. Um, I have a just a little swatch here. Um, you'll need a tapestry needle and a spare piece of yarn. Okay, so first, the, um, the main idea behind a lifeline, they're used for kind of like a, um, a checkpoint in your project. And I especially love to use lifelines when I'm making a big project, like a shawl or just a more time consuming project or something that has a lot of different sections. So what I like to do is place a lifeline at the end of every section break, but really you can place a lifeline anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to let's slide my swatch here over for a minute. I'll, I'll, work on that in a second, but I wanna show you, here's a project that I'm working on. This is a shawl I'm writing up, and you can see I have different sections. Here's like seed stitch, then we switch into lace, and we go back to seed, seed stitch with a different color. And these white lines here, see this is like scrab yarn, I place them at the end of every section. So what this is for, is if I get this far and I realize I made a mistake, you don't have to rip all the way back to the cast on. You, this, um, this little lifeline is a guide to where to put your needles back in. So then you only have to rip back to where you place the lifeline. This is so, so helpful. Like again, especially for big projects, because I don't know about you, or if you ever had a project, you make a mistake, you have to rip it back, but you, nobody wants to rip back way from the cast on. So this is definitely a time saver, maybe a, a stress saver too, because it's so disappointing when you realize you have to rip back projects or a big portion of your work. So yeah, if I made a mistake up here, I would then go back to my latest lifeline and we'd restart from this row. Okay, now let me show you on my swatch what you actually do. Sorry. Oh, the camera, sorry, the camera's uh, focusing a little bit. Um, all right, so here I'm, I've my knitted swatch and let's say um, I'm at a point where I wanna place a lifeline before I continue. So take the scrap yarn, thread through the tapestry needle and we're going to thread the scrap yarn through every stitch that's on the needle. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do it alongside the needle. Okay, and pull it through and you don't, you want to just leave some hanging out here on the sides. You could see on my shawl, I had like the white thread still kind of hanging out on the sides and that's fine. Um, because lifelines will get removed when you're finished with your project. And they slide out very easily because I'm not, I'm not knitting anything here. I'm not twisting it. I am, ha it's threaded through all the stitches and just kind of like at the base of the needle. Um, and I'm using a different color just so it'll show up and yeah always use like a different color because if you use the same color as your project yarn it's gonna be kind of hard to if you need to um, place your needles back in it might be hard to tell where to go um my other tip is try to if you're able to try to use a scrap yarn that's lower weight than what you're working with because when you're placing um, thick yarn in, it could stretch out your stitches. So try to, um, actually a lot of times I used to use like fingering white yarn, but this is a worsted and um, it's all good. All right, so lifeline is placed. Here we go. Um, I can take my tapestry needle off, done with that. So here it is, both sides. Um, and if, if you want, you can, cause you're going to leave this in for the rest of your knitting. So you can trim the sides too, so they're not like as annoying. Um, but whatever you prefer. Okay, I am going to, well, let's show a first row here. Cause so then you would, um, you just continue knitting. Just continue on with your project. Let me do a knit row here, a couple of stitches, because I wanna show you that when you're knitting, do not pick up the lifeline. It should be at the base of the stitches and you're still only just knitting your, with your project yarn. So um, yeah, let me try to just work through the end here. Bear with me for a second. 
Yeah, and I'm not picking up that lifeline yarn at all. Let's see that. See the oh, it's green. It's a little hard to tell, but I'm only grabbing my knit stitch. Okay, one more. One more. Okay. There we go. This is what um this is what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so we're gonna knit, knit, knit. Um here, I'm going to pause for a second and get a few rows, and then I will show you what to do if you want to, if you need to go back to that lifeline point. Okay, let me knit a few. Okay, here we go. I've got a few more rows established, um, and the lifeline is still there, same place, hasn't done anything. <laughs> um, okay, so scenario, let's say I am knitting, 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 and somehow I've made like a big mistake you know, so, somewhere in here, we're like, I don't know how to fix it. I'm going to need to rip back. Um, so we're going to go from, I want to start from the lifeline, like checkpoint, like think of it as like a checkpoint. Like you don't have to totally start your project over, but um, we can rip back to this part. Okay. So the first thing, what you'll want to do is put the needle back in. I'll just use my other needle while this one's still on. All right, so if you start from one end, and I like to start from the left um, because the right legs of each stitch is on the top of the lifeline. Um, here, let me move up a little bit so you can see. Okay, so start, this is where the lifeline starts. All you're gonna do is just follow it with your needle. Just run a, along where the lifeline is. It, it is your guide, it is through, um, it is showing you exactly where um, your needle should be and so the stitches are oriented in the correct way like not not twisted once you get them back on the needle okay so I'm just following along it shows you where to put the needle just keep following that scrap yarn oh and I can't find okay <laughs> um, okay shimmy these down a little bit I think I have one more here Oh yeah, last one. And then my needle's coming out at the same part that the lifeline is. Okay, let's slide these in the needle, or across, uh, further down the needle. All right, so I want to rip this part back. Now, where the lifeline was, these stitches are all secure. Like you put them back exactly, you put the needle back exactly how it's supposed to go. Um, so the error is here, I'm gonna take this out. And since all the stitches are secure now, when I rip back, um, it's going to stop at the part that I want. Okay, see, that's it. That's where we put the lifeline. We are back to kind of like a reset button on your knitting um, just to that checkpoint. So there it is. And then you can try again. <laughs> with error free. And if you want, you can leave, I would, if I would leave the lifeline in until the end of the project, but, um, these just slide right out. Um, and then again, at the, when you're finished with your work, just slide all your lifelines out like they were never there. Okay. That is it. That is, uh, the ins and outs of working with lifelines. All right. Enjoy.